In this video, I will share to all of you on how to jailbreak your iPhones running iOS 12.4.8 to iOS 13.6.1 using CheckRain Jailbreak. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is JC and I create videos about maximizing your tech experience. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe and bell icon so you won't miss anything. And without further ado, let's back to the video. These are the things that you'll be needing in this tutorial. A Windows PC, a lightning connector, a flash drive with at least 200 megabytes of free storage, and of course, your iPhone. So let's proceed to the first step. So the first thing that you need to do is download this tool which is called Trio Tools from its official website. All links will be in the description below. Once you downloaded the setup, proceed to the app installation. Once you install the app, connect your iPhone using your lightning connector to your PC. Once you connect your iPhone, a prompt will appear, just close it. And after that, once you close the banner, go to the upper section which is called Flash and Jailbreak and proceed to the Jailbreak section on the left side. Now in this part, select Make Check Rain Jailbreak USB Flash Drive. Now plug in your flash drive on your PC and it should be automatically detected by your computer. Just make sure to back up all your files on your flash drive because it will be all wiped out once the process begins. So just select yes and wait until the process is fully finished. Once the process is finished, close the program and restart your PC. So the next step that we need to do is go to BIOS menu of our PC, of your PC rather, and if you don't know what key it is to proceed to that part, I will leave a link in the description below to show what keys will work on your specific brand. So let's wait until the PC finish restarting. So this is what the link will look, will look like. Now, it will show what key will work for your brand in order to show BIOS and boot menu option. Okay. Now press F10 if you're using HP and go to system configuration. Go to system configuration and go to boot options. And enable the legacy support and as you can see my legacy support is already enabled so we're good to go to save and exit press F10 again press F10 and hit enter now we need to go to boot menu of our PC if you're using HP press F9 if you don't know what key it is it is the same link in the description below to know what key it is on your brand now press USB hard, hard drive. This is the hard drive that we put our data on Trio Tools. Now, wait until the program is fully loaded. Once the process is finished, a message like this will appear on your screen. Now, go to your iPhone and disable the passcode. Go to Touch ID and Passcode. And we need to disable this part because there are still bugs on the program so we need to prevent that now turn off this one this one and that also okay now turn off your passcode now enter your apple id password to proceed now enter it again So the next step that you need to do is go to your home screen and disable the internet connection by turning on the airplane mode. Now turn on the airplane mode. Okay, now connect your iPhone to your PC using the lightning to USB cable again. Okay, hit trust. 
prompt like this will appear because the, our iOS version is not supported. To, to address this, just go to options and enable allow untested iOS versions. Now pre press enter. Now to back, press enter again. Now select start. A warning will appear, just hit OK. And your device needs to be booted into recovery mode. Just hit enter. Now your device will proceed into recovery mode. Just wait until it starts. Another message will appear on your screen. Okay. My device is in DFE mode. Now just follow all the steps that will show on your PC screen. To proceed, press enter to start. I'm using iPhone 8 so I need to hold the power button and volume down button for at least 4 seconds and release it and hold the volume down for at least 10 seconds to proceed. Now just wait until the process is finished and once you see this screen on your iPhone, the jailbreak is successful so let's wait until it shows the lock screen. Okay, let's wait. Let's wait for a little more time. Now, as you can see, it's not on your iPhone screen. Now, open it and to show the check screen, just connect the internet again. And as you can see, it should now be visible. Now, open check screen and select Cydia. Then, install Cydia. Just wait until the process is finished. Just wait for a little more. Okay, now the CD is here. Hit open. Now, to test it, now the CD is fully working here. So it means that the jailbreak is working. So if you get any content suggestions, please comment it down below. I will try to make it as soon and as fast as I can. Thank you and see you in my next video.